dog. Or if it's big dog, if it's she just, or if it's little dogs that she's okay with, or if it's I don't white know. dogs and she's okay with yeah, white dogs. I, uh, quite often, it has nothing to do with size. It has to do with oh mannerism. Yeah, temperament. It has to do with what one dog says to the other about their parents or something. I don't know. Okay. But quite often it has little to do with the size of the dog and more to do with just do they get along together. It, it's hard to it's hard to second guess. I was wondering if you've ever seen Lulu get along with another dog. Do what? If you've ever seen Lulu get along with another uh, dog. I've seen her not be aggressive towards other dogs, oh, but I've never cool. seen her interacting with another dog. But I've seen dogs come and go, and she just ignored them. Well, even outside, we were coming and going, and yeah. she just ignored them. Yeah, just walking oh. outside, so, she didn't seem to pay much depends attention. On, it depends on who's handling her, I think. If you put her in her place, she, she'll back down. Uh, she's not aggressive. Okay. I mean, she, she, she's big, so she seems aggressive, but I don't know what would happen if she got a hold of another dog. Yeah, they had this uh, lady right there put the dog in. You know, you're not supposed to have a dog across this line here. You don't push the dog. And you let the dog come in, and you, the only thing between yeah, those two dogs is a yeah, man. Yeah. And, and the other thing that, that, that's cool. strange is yeah, yeah. when, when dogs are on a leash, they may act different than if they're oh, not on a leash. Yeah. We have Bring dogs out there that will yeah. want to fight with each other as long as you're yeah. holding both yeah. leashes. Yeah. But you put them in a big yard, yeah. take the leashes oh, off, here? and they'll yeah. just play with each other. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. It, it's really hard yeah. to tell. Yeah. But, but she, um, at least, yeah, I know. Yeah, so these dogs are permanent. In a home, in a single dog right. home, okay. she'd be wonderful. Um, yeah. You know, she's oh, just sure. so well, sweet. I get, I get um, emails every night. She doesn't I'm like cats particularly. Okay. Some, but yeah. uh, as far as another dog is concerned, yeah. it would yeah. depend on the dog. Sure. Well, you, you could foster a dog and you could foster a dog. But the, uh, the adoption councils have a better idea of what works and what doesn't work. And the reason they can't I'm, I'm just a volunteer uh, helper. What you could do is uh, there's a fast track where you can get them overnight. You can take a dog and then take it to the doctor or something or take it out for them to a park. Uh, I've taken her out. Uh, oh, okay. These are taking her out for a walk at the main site uh, down Roger Road, and um, she will occasionally bark at another dog. If another dog is over there and they're walking different directions, you know, she may bark at the other dog. But I've never seen the angry aggression. <laughs> But he looks like a Labrador. Oh, that's cool. Mix, yeah. mix, maybe. That means. Yeah. That means it can all be worked with. We had another dog out there uh, oh, so a few months, months ago, Gabby. Right? Yeah, oh, Gabby, yeah. You know, Gabby? Oh, yeah. Well, almost two years she was there. Yeah. And. Lois and I were the only two that could yeah. take her out right and put uh -huh. boots on her and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And she yeah. was sweet as could be, but she would but still interact with some dogs. Oh, I, so. uh, <laughs> I like this. So. This is a nice song. Yeah. Well, hopefully, I mean, I haven't, I haven't seen any pictures of her lately, or like. I don't know anything about how she's doing lately. Oh, Gabby? Yeah. Doing very well from what I understand. They, uh, That's lovely. Uh, the new owners bring her in once a month, I understand, <laughs> for medical checkup uh -huh. and shots or whatever uh -huh. because she had the, had the allergy problems. Yeah, her skin was so, so sensitive. I think the medical department sees her. Once a month. Once a month. And okay. the last word I got was that she's doing very well. Good, good, because I know yeah. that her skin was so she had such a bad allergies that her skin would get bad yeah. pretty, pretty quickly. So it is. Yeah, I used yeah, to. It's nice. In, uh, five o'clock in the morning before it was 
even daylight, take uh -huh. her out uh -huh. uh, before the other dogs got out, just so she'd have the whole place to herself. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> but, uh, I miss her. Yeah. Well, you weren't the only one, buddy. <laughs> yeah. She was, uh, I loved her to death, man. I really did. But, and that's why I, uh, I you know, I come, I go down to the main site, and uh, I was down there a couple of days ago, and spent a couple of hours with with her, uh, just sitting in the kennel. I took her for a walk a couple of times. Cool. The same thing here, mm -hmm. you know. Um, it's just a a way to let her know somebody likes her. <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah. Know. Just let her know that. Just bring her down to, to. Even if she doesn't have have her own family, at least she knows that the people really appreciate her. So doesn't they say that she should be the only dog? I'm sorry. In the paperwork, doesn't that say that she should be the only dog? Uh, I think so. Yeah. Like I said, I've never seen her together with a dog, but I've seen her ignore dogs. But I, I would, I, I'm not. Yeah, I'd have to look at the paperwork. But she's a big dog, a lot to handle. She decides to take off. She's a big leash. You'll be going for a ride. <laughs> yeah, I, I have not. She doesn't seem to pull. I mean, when I've taken her for a walk uh, out at the main site, that's good. Um, she walks. She's a fairly gentle walk. Um, you know, she. Uh, I mean, she's strong, so she could. Uh, but not like you know Dutch. You know Dutch. Dutch is probably the strongest dog I've ever really? walked. Really? He's still still down there. And, and uh, I was about, wanted, that, about that size, but solid muscle. I wanted to see him come to TRN too, Dutch. But I, I was hoping that Dutch would come to TRN also, yeah. just so I could yeah. hang out yeah. with Dutch a little bit. Yeah. Because, you know, but I am. Yeah, know. Dutch, Dutch is... Um, uh, Dutch requires some special attention, you might say. He's a good dog. You know, he's not a, not a mean dog or anything. But, um, um, you know, one person uh, your size or, or anybody smaller wouldn't be able to control Dutch. Right. It would take yeah. somebody our size. And, and I only walk Dutch on the concrete. I won't walk him on the gravel. Okay. Because I, I can't get the traction oh. that I need on the gravel. He's that strong. He's a big boy. Yeah, he's a good boy. Good boy, <laughs> but, but extremely strong. Yep. It's the unexpected things, you know, because you never know what the dogs are going to do. Yeah. They're dogs. So. Yep. The little one over there, he's sitting on your lap, right? It's not going to take off, probably. <laughs> Knock you over. No. <laughs> so no. Just Not at that age. Long term, what, you, what would be comfortable for you to handle? She's, yeah. she's very strong. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Sweet as can be. And the other problem you have is if, if, if a dog gets sick or something and you have to pick up a dog, I, oh, you know, yeah. I'd be hard pressed to pick, pick her up. Oh, 70, yeah. 75 pounds. Uh, you need a, a wheel, wheelbarrow. <laughs> yeah, so it it, um, it would take uh, special handling, I guess, if if need be. Um, here again, I would I would hope if she were mine, I would hope she would be mobile because uh, picking her up would be a challenge. Right? I wonder if Dutch is too big for this kennel. If Dutch would just knock this kennel over or something like that. Oh, this one? Yeah. Um, probably. Because it's so flimsy. It maybe. She, she, would, she could push. See, this is only a pretty flimsy lot. She could push her way out of this. And that's why when she's here, somebody's with her most of the time. Hmm. <laughs> and, and she's, uh, but I've seen her. I've seen her push on the bottom of this, as you can see. You know, it wouldn't take yeah. a whole lot to push this open. Hmm. 
You're a happy girl, aren't you, Lulu? Yes, yes, you're a happy girl. You smell like bubble gum, sweetie. Yeah. Very nice smelling teeth, actually. My dogs. Oh, boy. Taking her for a walk. I don't think she's picked up any bubble gum, but I. Maybe she did. Uh, <laughs> but her her breath doesn't smell that bad actually, no. which is, is is pretty pretty good. Yeah.
A lot of su- Lulu is suffering a lot. Yeah, 
Good girl. Good girl. Good dog.
It says on the card here that uh, it says I get along with other big dogs like me and, and older children also. Okay. So apparently okay. It's smaller dogs that uh, she doesn't like. But uh, even with big dogs, I'd, I'd want two dogs to meet to make sure. Yes, you are. 